there's a lot of comedies out there, but the ones that really stick with us are those with three-dimensional characters who have distinct comedic traits, and we relish in them reacting to the situations they find themselves in. Take Bridesmaids. Paul Feig does an excellent job of balancing emotion and comedy. He explores friendship and rivalry. In the scene when the airplane's taken off, we're with Kristen Wiig as she experiences anxiety and vulnerability. And the humor comes from how she reacts to this, the situation. The scene also works on character development. It serves to strengthen the bond between Annie and Lillian, played by Maya Rudolph. More and more, we see the distinct characteristics of each character. Paul Feig got the most out of his very talented cast, many of them improvisers. If you want to experience with improvisation in your script, you might want to try a script mint. This is a script that's not fully fleshed out. Maybe the dialogue's not even in there, but you just have how your scene is supposed to start and how you want it to end. Let the actors fill in the blanks with their improv skills. See how it works. If it doesn't work, go back to writing the dialogue. Sometimes the biggest laughs come from visual comedy, facial expressions, reactions, mishaps. Take the scene when they're trying on dresses. We get to see the awkwardness when Kristen Wiig puts on different dresses. This scene is great at subverting expectations. We've seen it before. Our protagonist tries on dresses in this beautifully choreographed montage. The music is playing. Well, in this scene, everything goes off the rails. Great comedies often tap into relatable experiences. Friendship, competition, weddings, and then take them over the top with awkwardness, mishaps, over the top breakdowns that we feel we're on the verge of experiencing at any moment. One last note, Bridesmaids is so effective because the comedy doesn't sacrifice the character development or the story. Story is king. Don't just do a joke for the sake of getting a laugh. Ask yourself, is it serving the story? Is it driving the scene forward? Woody Allen's classic comedy, Annie Hall, is another great example of a comedy that doesn't just go for the laughs. We have two well-developed characters with distinct points of views, and the narrative drives the story. The laughs support the story through witty dialogue and circumstances and situations that we relish in watching the actors react to. Harold Ramis' Groundhog's Day starring Bill Murray. On the surface, it looks like a comedy with a time loop premise, but it explores a philosophical theme of self-improvement. Another great comedy starring Bill Murray, Ivan Reitman's Ghostbusters. This one's a supernatural comedy. And sure, there's a lot of special effects, but what drives the story is the chemistry between the cast and, at its core, is a love story. Rob Reiner's This Is Spinal Tap, the first of its kind. It's a mockumentary that satirizes the music industry, but what drives it are the distinct characters with distinct points of views. And also, if you like Spinal Tap, check out the works of Christopher Guest, like Best in Show or Waiting for Guffman. Check out Billy Wilder's 1959 screwball comedy, Some Like It Hot. This one is driven by pacing and iconic performances by Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, and Marilyn Monroe. Airplane, another classic screwball comedy. This one directed by the Zucker Brothers. It's got the great fast pacing, the gags throughout the film, but what really drives it, makes it memorable, is the connection between our two protagonists, Robert Hayes and Julie Haggerty. We care about what happens to them. And of course, I cannot in good conscience talk about comedies without paying my respects to Charlie Chaplin as the great dictator. This guy is a physical comedian that inspired so many in his field over the years. It's a satire on Hitler and fascism. Not many could pull this off. Chaplin did. Hopefully tips from these masters of the comedic genre will inspire you on your creative journey. Now go out there 
and create your story. In the comments below, share your favorite comedy. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. That way, you'll get alerts for upcoming creative content. Remember, I love you.